This is a, a propane torch. A little bit hard to see, but it's bronzy in color. And this one is a rusty color that I did before. I'm going to use this propane torch to anneal different colors. So sometimes rusty, sometimes different colors. It'll be interesting results. I have one spoon, two spoons here. I'm going to have the nozzle just a, 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 open up a bit and, and, have, and have this thing locked on. And I'm going to open up the propane torch very, very, very carefully. I will try to focus it, but I can't focus it when I'm using a propane torch. It'll be a little bit too dangerous. Starting to turn gold. The farther away it is, the less heat there is, and the, and, the, and the smaller the change of the spoon. It's still turning a little bit red, as you can see. It's turning a bit, a bit red, but not red enough to have any effect. I don't want to overdo it. I'm putting on this brick spoon to cool. I'm going to try it again with higher temperatures, closer to the flame. Then I bring it further away. And I flip it. Rotating it and making a heat source. This propane torch is very, very hot and effective, so I only have it on a small setting. Lowest setting possible. See? That's the color change you're turning into. Well, I'm going to turn off the propane torch. There you have it. That's how I know different colors, including this one, which has this rusty light color. Can't see it, but it's a bronzy color. And these two are bronzy, but they're too hot. I can, I can even feel the heat coming off the spoon. So I just want to not touch it. I'm not going to touch it and get burnt. But this propane torch and, this, and, and the propane itself are very effective.